Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create an endpoint to send the Firebase push notification from the Node.js project of the admin. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to create a new folder inside the SRC with the name routes. Inside this, we have a file with the name Firebase route js on the top i'm going to import express after importing the express i'm going to create an instance of the router so it will be a const router and we have to initialize with the express dot router and we have to export the router so it will be a module dot holds equals to router after writing the basic implementation of the Firebase route, I'm going to install body parser in our Node.js project. So the command we have npm install body hyphen parser. As you can see the version of the body parser that we have 1.20.2. Now let's go to the app.js and here I'm going to import body parser. After importing the body parser, I'm going to create body parser middleware. So let me move this endpoint. So we have to call the instance that we have app.use. Inside the argument of this, I'm going to pass body parser.json. To this, I'm going to import Firebase route. So let me add here the path that we have src slash routes slash Firebase route. And we have to initialize this route. So it will be a app.use. Inside the course, I'm going to write the base URL that we have slash API slash Firebase. And we have to navigate the request to this route that we have Firebase route. After this, I'm going to create a new folder inside the SRC with the name controllers. Inside this, I'm going to create a new file with the name Firebase controller.js. On the top, I'm going to import notification service. So it will be a const notification service. Let me add here the path that we have dot dot slash service slash notification service. After importing the notification service, I'm going to create a method with the name send firebase notification. So it will be a async. Inside the argument of the async, I'm going to add request and the response. Inside this method, I'm going to add here the try and the catch block. The catch block will catch an exception in case of API failing. So let me catch here the error. And we have to send the response. So it will be our start status that we have 500 and the message in the type of a JSON that we have error sending notification. After this, I'm going to send here the success that we have false. Now inside the try block, I'm going to get the title body and the device token from the request body. So first we have titles, second we have body, third we have device token. And we have to get this from the request body. After getting the title body and the device token, I'm going to call the notification service and the method that we have send notification. As you can see, the notification service where we are getting device token, title and the body. So let me copy this. Let me add inside the argument of this method. So it will be a wait. After calling the method, we have to send the response. So let me copy this. Let me add after that. So the status that we have 200 OK and the message notification sent successfully. And the success that we have to let me update here the spelling of the success. Now we have to export this method. So it will be a module dot exports. And that is a send firebase notification after creating this method inside the firebase controller let's go back to the firebase route and here i'm going to call the instance that we have router mapping we have post inside the codes i'm going to define the path of this endpoint that we have slash send hyphen notification so it will be a async inside the argument i'm going to add request and the response Inside this, I'm going to call the method from the Firebase controller. So let me import here the method from the Firebase controller that we have and Firebase notification. We add here the path that we have dot dot slash controller slash Firebase controller. So let me call here the method. Inside the argument, we have to pass request and the response. So 
So it will be a weight. And I'm going to say the response of this method into this variable that we have result. And we have to return the result. So it will be a response send that is a result. Let's navigate to the postman. As you can see, the URL of the endpoint that we have slash API slash Firebase slash send notification mapping. We have post inside the body. We have a title body and the device token in the type of a JSON. So let me add here the device token that we'll get from the user React project. So let me copy this. Let me add inside this course. Let's click on the send button to send the push notification to the user. As you can see the console where we are not getting any response. So let's go back to the VS code. As you can see, we are getting here the error. Let's resolve this issue. So I'm going to remove this curly braces around this export. Let's go back to the Firebase route and I'm going to remove the curly braces. Now, as you can see, it's navigating us to the Firebase controller. Let's navigate to the postman and I'm going to hit the endpoint. As you can see, the status we got 200 OK. And we're getting at the message inside the body that we have notification sent successfully. Let's go back to the browser. As you can see the console where we are getting the background message. The default Chrome browser notification pop-up is not showing here because I'm sharing my screen on the Zoom. That's why it's not showing. I will attach the screenshot of the notification that we got by the default behavior of the Chrome. So that's all for now from my side. If you have any confusion, you can document. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.